Right, what I'm going to do here is show you how to put a uh, CISS onto a HP PhotoSmart D5160. That's a D5160. I'm going to put the CIS on, show you how easy it is to save load of money printing. Right, I've lifted the lid up. This is a battered out old printer that I've had up per the loft, I think, from the days when I used to test cartridges on them. So it's a bit dirty and everything, um, a bit uh, battered as well, but it still works and it's still able to show you how to do it. So if you look here, I've done some preparation work. See that clip there? You'll get one of those clips. That one's sticking there, facing upwards. And in here, we have to come right round. And if you look here, I've got an arm that sticks here and it's bent and comes that way. That sticks there. But to give you an idea of where to put that arm, if you look here on the front of the printer, there's that uh, dip there. Well, the arm wants to go just to the left of it, facing the back of the printer. It will actually stick on that way. It sticks on into there. By the way, the ink again is not from the CIS. It's from remanufacturing cartridges. I don't wash my hands till later on. So I've always got ink all over my hands in the pictures, but be assured it's not from the CIS, it's from cartridges. So you've got this clip into place, it just sticks on, make sure it's going upwards, and you've got this arm, the bent arm, into place to the left of there. All you have to do is put the cartridges into the printer. Right, I put the camera into position, and you'll see when the lid is up, this carriage is to the right hand side and that is down to allow you to put the cartridges in. When you get cartridges it'll be like this. They've got a green clip on, so you take the green clip off, peel off the blue protective tape, do that on both of them, peel the tape off and they're ready to go in. Now you just put your cartridges in like you would any cartridge normally. It's a bit hard for me because again I'm trying to let you see what I'm doing. I don't want to block the camera up. But there's a black and there's a colour in. They're both in and as you can see the pipe is coming out here and it needs to go across to the left so just feed it through. Keep feeding it through. I'll move the camera so you can see and it comes over over here to the arm and into the arm so the arm holds it. Now I'm going to go into the printer so you can see how it's done. It's a bit shaky this video so I'm going to do this by myself. If you look here, see where my finger is there, the pipes are coming out to the left, perfectly straight, you don't want any twists and then it's curling over and through the arm here. I'll try and get in there. There, you can see there, comes from there, over here, curls up here and through and across here and it's coming out of this door here so then we just clip it into there and that will stop it from moving around so I'll try and get the camera right in here it's coming to the left lock it's curling up and back through the arm and across to the right and through that clip there that's actually ready to use. So before we print, I'll just show you the bottles. They're there on my worktop. This isn't my kitchen table, by the way. It is a worktop in the workshop. We've got the bottles there. Black, cyan, yellow, magenta. And if you look here, we've taken out the top small bungs, but left the big ones in the bottom. You take out the small ones at the top, and you put in these air spaces into each one which allows air in, but it won't let ink fly out if you accidentally knock it. So that must be on the same level. You cannot have it higher than the printer or lower than the printer. It's got to be on the same level because that's how it is balanced. Right, before it'll print, it's got to think that the lid is down and we don't want to put the lid down totally because of this pipe, even though it's only a mil or two up. This is the sensor here, which goes into there pushes it down and the printer knows that the lid is closed. This is a bit rickety this one and uh, it's an old printer so I'm going to have to tap it in because that's a bit stiff but what you do is just put something into there 
to hold it down. I've just put that in. You can put something smaller, obviously. And immediately the printer thought that with the lid was closed there, if you saw it. It's starting to move around. So you can actually print with the lid open if you want. So that's registered that the lid is down and it's ready to print. It's going through its sequence now, but I'm not going to film it because it'll be quite some time. I'll be back in one second with the next stage. So we've got it all set up. All there is left now is to print. So I just go onto the computer and tell it to print. I'll leave the lid up for a bit so you can see it printing with the lid open. Then um, I'll put the lid down as well. It's just going through its initial uh, process that it always does. And there it is, I'm printing out perfectly okay. That's because I've printed on the other side where you can see that uh, this here, that's just ink from the other side where I was doing a test print on other things. So as you can see, it's printing absolutely perfectly. There we can put the lid down. You can see everything's pr printing perfectly fine. So that's a way to save thousands of pounds in print on the HP printer. These cartridges do several models, not only just this one printer. So everything's fine there. You can see it's printing perfect pictures. Any questions, just give me a ring. Thanks for watching.